What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? What a terrible night for a curse. Wait, 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 that's a little too spooky. Hey, do you know where they keep the biggest pencil in the world? Pennsylvania. Which means, do you know where they keep the biggest castle in the world? Oklahoma? Close enough. <laughs> do you nerd for Castlevania? This is Tom and Lizzie, collecting all the things, searching from here to there, finding comic book tables, house Legos, and action figs, retro gaming, amiibos, and image prints. Watch as they collect them all. Tom and Lizzie collecting right now. Welcome back, nerdlings. This is Do You Nerd, the Variety Channel, where myself, Tom, and... Lady Lady. Share with you all of the things that we nerd out about. And this time around, obviously, it's something to do with video games, because we are in the game room. This is a limited run thing. So we got a box. A lot smaller than we expected. Finally. The date that we ordered this, I believe I look back at the email, January, I think it was 14th, 2022. Yeah. Not 23, not the year that we're filming this. Last 2022. year. 2022. This may be the longest wait we've had, yes. and we waited a long time yes. for the Scott Pilgrim one. Uh, so this is something to do with Castlevania, something that you were super excited to get a hold it was of. A mega Ultimate Edition, and for the price and how long it took, I am really surprised that this tiny, tiny little box is what we got. Yeah. Oh, so... Hang on. Yeah, it's not even that heavy. Okay, so, uh, so first of all, let's... Take it out of the shipping box. For starters, cut sheets. So these are there to protect to make sure that hopefully you don't cut into your product. Yeah. And it was on top and the bottom of the box. And then top and bottom of the box, they had these actually hard plastic corner, corner protectors. protectors. Nice. So there's that. Nice. That's nice. That's what took so long. I guess so. Now, it was a very snug fit in the box, so with the corner protectors, at least that's kind of helping for anyone that wants to keep it sealed and looking nice. I have seen some stuff in the past ship out that uh, has been damaged, unfortunately, through shipping. You have the card. Limited Run is always really big on packing in some kind of fun little trading card. We actually keep these sometimes in binders if we have a bunch of them other times if it's just a single game we put them in a nice little sleeve pack it in with the game it's like 80 psychedelic and we have a note as well thank you for your patience as you waited to receive the collector's edition from us we know that this has taken a far longer than you expected and i wanted to take the time to express my sincere apologies for this and my gratitude towards you as a customer included in the shipment is a five dollar gift card usable in a future limited run game purchase or thank you for your support without you we are nothing thank you for your continued support of physical media i hope we were able to serve you again in the future josh fairhurst and you can't see our coat a lot of what that note says is they really realize that they kind of dropped the ball on this one um a lot of people have issues with limited run right now and least of all is how long it takes to get their stuff yeah. not only that but as they've reached out to like other places like Best Buy and everything. It's like, so I pre-ordered the thing. Best Buy got it first. So a guy that walked in off the street got his game before I got mine. Not cool. Not cool. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? Let's try to be positive. We finally got it. So let's get into this and take a look. So what we're going to do is we're going to take everything out and then we'll kind of show you some, uh, what are we going to show them? Closer uppers. Wow. Look at that art. Okay, everything is out of the box. I feel like one of the things that really sold you on getting this was the coffin-shaped box that it yes. came in. Anybody who has played Symphony of the Night kind of recognizes this for whenever you'd save your game and then it goes spinning all around crazy-like. You did notice, though, even though it was packaged yes. very nicely and everything, here on the side... There's still a dent. How do you feel about that? I mean, we're not as particular as some collectors, yeah. but I could see some people be very upset. It's one of those things I don't really care. I am a little annoyed because I'm like, as as well as you went to keeping it protected, it was obviously in the factory dinged. Now it does have a little notch at the top. It's almost like a piggy bank, but that holds your data saved we card. Spin it around. Cause look, it says data saved on both sides. Are you a data or a data? And inside, <laughs> Uh, it has, of course, a nice plastic form-fitting piece to hold all of the, the goodies 
that came in there. And of course, if anybody was unfamiliar, this is the Castlevania Requiem collection, which has both games Symphony of the Night and Rondo of Blood. Now these were back-to-back -back games, you know, the story carried over, and these were like staples to the Castlevania yes. lore. This is when it really started to pull a lot of the storylines together, flesh out some of the characters, and it really embraced that whole coined term, Metroidvania feel. Personally, I love Symphony of the Night, oh, been a long time yeah. fan. We both really liked that one. In fact, we used a lot of the music of Symphony of the Night in our wedding, didn't we? Yes, we did. <laughs> and the people that were there, those who knew would kind of give you that that nod, that knowing nod. Mm -hmm. And everyone else just thought, Oh, this is really, really pretty orchestral music. Because I love it. And we're like, yeah, thanks. <laughs> now, at the time when we ordered this, we did go for the PS4 version. I don't recall if they had any other versions not. <laughs> up for offer. We have the, the PS4 game here. And it even came with an alternate sleeve if you wanted to switch it out. So that's kind of nice. On one side, you have very much a Rondo of Blood theme to it. The other side is Symphony of the Night. The one that's already in the case has both of them. Inside, not only do you have the disc, but look, it's a teeny tiny poster. Oh, how cute. It's like a little print. Actually, this is a, this is good print size, kind of like the ones on the wall. Yeah. And this would probably fit our coffee table book perfectly. Awesome. So we also got a certificate of authenticity, which comes with a number out of how many were made. Ours is number 4,130 out of 9,100. The steel book. And it is gorgeous. This really is. I'm loving the art. Again, they're playing up the themes of Symphony of the Night with this uh, front cover showing off Alucard in front of the castle. It looks like a beautiful framed portrait that you would see in the castle. Yes, it does. Yes. And there's a slight embossed detail on some of the corners. It's like here. a nice antique, like brass almost. Flipping it over, you've got the Rondo of Blood motif. Whenever anyone does utilize their steel books, do you get the protective cases, kind of like what you can put your game boxes in? Do you do that to protect your steel books? We haven't picked any of them up yet, but I think I would like to because not that I'm going to be pulling this game on and off the shelf yeah. constantly, I think it's a good idea to maintain the integrity of the steel book. I feel like it's a good idea. And especially when the art looks that good. You yes. kind of want to keep it looking nice. And it's not just games for me. It's like they put stuff in there just for you, uh, too. I don't know. One of the first things that I noticed was this really adorable lapel pin of the vampire killer. And you can position the star wherever you want How it. How clever is that? That's a cool accessory oh, piece, too. I'm, I'm glad you're not a vampire. <laughs> ow! The tip! Ow! Ow! <laughs> Woo! What's that? A whip? <laughs> woo, woo! You hit the tip! Ha! The other thing that was in here is this really interesting little shield rack that you can put your shield on and a sword and it is metal. Metal. So, nice. Some really neat detail there. Meow! <laughs> 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 Don't worry about the cat. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so Alucard's sword and shield on display, that is very cool. And it is a beautiful shield, You too. know what this is going to look fantastic next to? Alucard himself. The Alucard figure that we have <laughs> from the animated series. A very good series, too, by the way. Limited Run loves to throw in that music. So as we were talking about before, you don't have to play this just at your wedding, folks. But you'd be pretty cool if you did. But uh, these are great. We actually still love getting CDs, as we've said many times before, because we keep them in the car, listen to them in there. Mm -hmm. And you have tracks, uh, just a few tracks. So they're not full soundtracks, but just a few tracks from Symphony of the Night, Rondo of Blood. I know a couple of our fellow YouTubers have the vinyl for Symphony of the Night alone, oh. and that is a wicked looking vinyl. So that'd you, be a good one to look for. Now you just need the CD sampler, you know, to, to have on the go as well. Yeah. We'll trade you. <laughs> I don't think they'll trade. There's a big old poster. So we had that little one that was in the case. Now we have a gorgeous dual side. Again, we are rocking the Symphony of the Night love and the Rondo of Blood love. Man, he just looks so cool. Oh, she's enjoying Drac. Always have. Drac attack to her heart. I'd right. let him bite me. Whoa. I'm going to have to kill a vampire. The world's got to know, though. Castlevania's Dracula or Final Fantasy VII's Sephiroth. Oh. 
Ooh, I don't know. And if you say both, you're a very naughty girl, and we'll take care of that in a moment. <laughs> both? Last of all, <laughs> the box that the game came in. I love that limited run, and a few other companies have been having a lot of fun with these NES-style yes. boxes. Everything about this, from your Konami Silver, which, you know, of course, being a Gosh. Konami game, it's it's blazing perfectly with it. Looks it's exactly so like an NES game. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I kind of just want to leave this on the shelf with the NES games to see if anyone notices. And it does have a lovely slip cover sleeve, so your box is still being kind of protected. Mm -hmm. That being said, though, it is kind of weird to me that so they're it's... exactly the same? Exactly. This reminds me... Why not just me... make it a clear plastic? Oh, yeah, that would have been cool. Like a Very clear plastic cool. with maybe like the Castlevania printed on the cla plastic? Limited run, this is your girl right here. Just saying. Uh, I was going to say this, uh, a slipcover sleeve that looks exactly like what you have the game in, this reminds me of like the CDI games because oh, they did yeah. the exact same thing. Yeah. And it always seemed kind of weird because then with those, and then now with this, I guess you could say, I've got everything in the box, but I don't have the sleeve. Is that complete or is it complete with the sleeve, which is exactly the same, but it's kind of ridiculous. And last of all, the giant display box that it came in. You which really liked how this gorgeous. looked. Yes, the artwork on there is just so pretty alone. So It's got this really nice glossy gold tint to it everything is really nice this would look great up on a high shelf just to kind of show off although i don't know if i want to pack everything away because then it's super hard I to know. get to it's it. almost like we need a big shelf so that we can have the box and then everything kind of set in front of it Ooh, there we go i, I like that so you i guess know, we need a bigger house display. probably <laughs> all right so let's cover a couple of things first of all this cost uh was it around 200 i think so yeah close to that Mm -hmm. Do you think the value is here? I wouldn't say exactly 200 Of course, I'm a cheapskate. You know, to me, this is a maybe $50 to $100 box and everything, especially with how long it took. I'm not sure what took so long for them to actually get and make. It, for that price, there should have been some more accessories or something in there, I feel like. Okay. Because there's, there's, just, there's just a lot of cardboard and posters. Yes. I think, honestly, this is more of a $100 range. So I'm not going to lie. I feel like we got a little duped for what we got. The only thing that I could see kind of bumping up the cost a little more, but it shouldn't be another $100 worth, is the coffin-shaped cardboard. But it shouldn't have been cardboard. As neat as this is, it's not $100 worth. Everything else as is, I would only say about a hundred bucks, you know, so yeah, it was, it was a bit excessive. Yeah. Uh, honestly, like looking back on the Scott Pilgrim one for what we paid for that, that was mega worth set, it, yeah. that was worth it. Mm -hmm. The Zombies Ain't My Neighbors one, yes. I feel like that was worth it. This one, not so much. Um, I do feel cheated by this and it does not help with how long it took because it took yeah. so long and it's like opening this, it's like, okay, thanks. I mean, the things that are in here, I adore them. They mm -hmm. are great things. Standards like the CDM poster, I mean, I still like them, but it's it's very recycled at this point. Yeah, we, we, we keep see that getting in a lot everything. of the same thing. So it's getting harder and harder to be excited about that stuff. The sword and shield, that was a cool piece. I like the lapel pin of the vampire killer. That's a very yes. clever. The steel book, even though it is a recycled item, it's the fact that it's so gorgeously done. It's definitely like art. Like I could hang this on the wall as a picture. Oh, easily. But, uh, you know, the rest of it, it's, it's very mid-tier to me. Yeah. So, all right. Well, regardless of that, it's finally here. I am going to have a blast revisiting some classic and amazing Castlevania games. We're going to be jamming to some music, killing vampires. Killing little vampires, apparently, with that sword. Yeah, yeah, don't, yeah. don't even... I don't trust you with that. But I trust <laughs> you to leave some comments down below. What did you think about this? Are you as uh, let down as we ultimately were? Like, excited, let down? And like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm having very conflicting emotions here. <laughs> with this. It is a terrible night for a curse. <laughs> I curse you. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Go over to Tee Public because we've got some pretty cool merchandise over there and I don't think it's going to take you a year and a half to get. Also, go over to the Retro Refresh because we got a pretty cool website over there. And remember, nerdlings, if we like it... We nerd it. Just not a year and a half 
later for something that we nerd you right price. now. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs> Bye guys. Just a little bit of experimentation. I like Bon Jovi. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Let's fast forward. 4,130 out of 900. Damn it. Numbers are hard today. 400. 400. Stop saying 100. Let's get this before we step on it. Crunch. Whoops. <laughs> okay.